Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. I've got um, an American Lager. Well, originally an American Lager. Um, bit of a classic. The name, huge brand, easily recognisable. No longer independent, unfortunately. But um, I've always enjoyed this lager. Always enjoyed it. It's not the easiest to come by now. Um, it's now available in the UK, as far as I'm aware, exclusively at Amazon. Amazon did a two-day kind of like a prime sale thing last week and uh this was on offer so it's miller miller genuine draft i got 18 bottles of this for 24 quid that was like a prime offer for prime customers and i thought i've got to have a bit of that it's normally 30 quid i didn't realize amazon were the only place now that you can get it um one of the local pubs i used to go in always had this in the fridge and I've always enjoyed it. Always found it really light, crisp, refreshing. Uh, but I haven't had it for a while. And I wondered now if I revisited it, would it be as good as I remember it? So, uh, yeah, Miller, Genuine Draft, 4.7% ABV. Uh, Miller started out in Milwaukee back in the, was it the 1800s? I think it was the 1850s or something like that. It might even say it on here, to be fair. I don't know why I'm... Oh, it's there, 1855. Miller Brewing Co. established 1855 in Milwaukee, United States. Uh, nowadays, they're owned by Molson Coors, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure when Molson Coors took them over. It has very little in the, array, in the way of ingredients written on it. It says it's 4.7% ABV, four times filtered for exceptional smoothness. So I do remember this beer being particularly drinkable, like really drinkable, just like ridiculously just chuggable, pintable. Um, it says it contains barley. That is all she says. The best before on this is the 20, no, the 31st, is that? Of May next year. So relatively fresh. Um, it says that it's been brewed in the UK. Beer brewed in the UK by Wilson Coors Brewing Company in Burton on Trent. Um, so I wonder if the recipe has been maintained. Let's get the beer into a glass. We'll see what it's all about. There is the Miller Genuine Draft bottle cap. Very smart. I mean, that is classic Miller with the eagle. Very cool. Um, yep, yeah, let's get it open. Cheeky little bit of smoke on the opening. Good rush of carbonation as I opened it. And she goes into straight pint glass, aggressive pour, so you can get a head on it. We can, we can get a bit of a head on it. Leave that there so we can see it. Doesn't look as good without the beard, does it? <laughs> a plain glass bottle. Um, but there she is. That's got a solid one finger. That to me was a slightly creamy looking white head on it. Um, gentle carbonation. I've got a bit of a, a condensation haze on the glass now because this is very cold, as it should be. Um, but yeah, it looks crystal clear. Solid, pure gold lager. There's my face. Um, it looks cracking. And that head is in no rush to go anywhere, which is a good sign. Let's get me snouting. See what the aroma is telling us. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a great deal. Is that, that sort of touch of... Slightly sweet citrusy kick. Barley malt aromas. It smells like a lager. A run of the mill lager. But there's no funkiness to it. There's no skunkiness. There's no metallic, coppery aroma. It smells clean. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's still really good. That is still really good. That is smooth as you like. That is ridiculously drinkable. There is a touch, a touch of a citrusy sweetness on arrival. And there's a multi character. It coats the palate. 
At the back end, there is a very, very subtle touch. Touch of bitterness. This is good. This is actually really, really good. It is easily, it, this is as I remember it, it is one of the most drinkable beers I've ever had. Miller Genuine Draft, it is one of those, the pub I had it in, uh, was a pub uh, in St Albans I used to go into quite a lot. And if nothing on, on keg or cask tickled my fancy, they always had that in the fridge. But you, you kind of, you were I was reluctant to buy it all the time because it's not the cheapest buying a bottle of beer in the pub. Not when you can get a pint for, you know, barely 20p more. It, it wasn't cost worthy. But I always enjoyed it. It was always a massively refreshing, easy drinking lager. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. It's really good quality. It's really well refreshing. There's a lovely sort of barley malt character to it on the palate, not just in the flavour, but the mouthfeel as well. There's substance to it. It's not just thin, a bit, you know, washing up liquidy and gone. This this kind of, for me, destroys the myth that mass-produced lagers are shit because this is not. This is really, really good. And it's brewed by Molson Coors, which is interesting when you consider what Molson Coors' flagship brand is Coors Light. When Coors Light has got nothing on this, nothing. It's baffling, it's baffling. I don't know the ins and outs of it, um, whether the people behind Miller still have something to do with it, whether they insist on the recipe maintaining, staying the same, I don't know. It says very little on the bottle, which doesn't help. Um, but that is quality. That is beautifully refreshing. It is smooth as you like. The carbonation on it is actually quite low. There's not much in the way of a fizz that you often get with lagers. It's smooth. There's a sweetness. There's a slightly bready malt character. And the back end, there's only a touch, only a touch of bitterness. Not a great deal to it, not much of a finish. But my God, it's refreshing. It's not just a watery, crisp lager that you have to have as like ice cold to kind of stop yourself from tasting anything. This has substance, it has a touch of flavor to it. It's beautifully balanced. It's got a lovely body to it, lovely mouthfeel. It glides down. Gone. Um, that. Nah. That's that for me is what I I think all American lagers should be like, you know. American viewers, if you're seeing this review, do you drink this stuff in the states? Is it still big in the states? Like I say, we used to get it quite often in the UK, and it's kind of disappeared. But you can get it on Amazon now. Um, if you like an easy going, straight up, just really refreshing lager, go to Amazon. Get yourself a crate of this. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. That's fantastic. Miller Genuine Draft. That is perfect. It's perfect. It is an absolute smasher. Absolute smasher of a lager. And I'm, I'm, when you consider it's brewed by Molson Coors, it's in a clear glass bottle. Everything screams at me that this beer should be bad. And it's just not. It's terrific. And obviously, it's just my opinion. Other people might be watching this thinking, what's he on about? What's he talking about? I think that's cracking. Miller, genuine draft. Sod it. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. There's nostalgia in there as well. It still tastes as good as I remember it. And I'm so chuffed about that. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. That is a perfectly drinkable lager. Miller, genuine draft. Banger. Love it. Hope you've enjoyed the review. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.